Hey people to YouTube, today we are going to be remaking one of the lesser known fairy tales that I found in the back of my bookshelf, The Tallow Candle. And um, for any of you who don't know, like I didn't know when I started this, tallow means animal fat. So this is a candle made of animal fat now, not pixels, no, 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 no. Whoever told you that was lying, this is pure animal fat. Anyways, on to the story. Once upon a time, there was a candle. Now this, this, this is, this is a special candle, you know? It's not like all the other candles you got. No, this one, this one, is a really awesome candle. Because you see, it had a really awesome childhood. It had Mama Sheep, who's, actually technically she wouldn't be alive right now. Because, I mean, she kind of, she's kind of dead. It's her fat that makes up the candle, but you know what? We're going to ignore that. We're going to ignore that. For the sake of the fairy tale, this candle has an amazing childhood, even though its mother is not really dead. You know what? You know what? Fairy tales are confusing. Let's leave that be. Let's leave that be. The candle also had a great childhood because it loved its father. A melting pot? I mean, the pot kind of melted. His mom. Wait, what? Okay, moving on. This candle is crazy optimistic. He loves the world, you know? Great parents, that means it's a great world. This candle, wholeheartedly optimistic, loves the world, all that jazz, was unfortunately put into the world. When it entered the world of the humans, it was all like, yes, this is amazing. However, humans are filled with greed and they were all like stepping on the candle and ruining the candle's dreams and they were all like oh my gosh you're so useless dumb candle ah r.i.p candle the candle got so stepped on by the villagers that slowly it turned green because of all the times it was smushed into the dirt lovely anyways the candle all sad and alone and green now is all like oh no What's the point of this world? It's so terrible. Oh no, oh no, oh no. And I mean, they're not, they're not exactly wrong here. It's a kind of a hard knock life, you know? The candle was so sad until along came this magical flint and steel, you know? And the flint and steel was all like, there is point to the world. There is point to the world. There are some good things. Admittedly, humans aren't really one of them, but there are some good things. And so, together, they lit the candle. I mean, not sure it's a great thing for the candle, because now it's kind of going to burn to death. But you know what? You know what? Teach their own. Teach their own. The candle is very, very happy now at being burnt alive. Yep. Great, great, great. I totally understand these fairy tales. Nothing wrong with them. Nothing wrong with it. The candle, as it flickered and burned... Slowly, all of the grass on it and the green melted slash burned away until it's a happy little yellowish white fat candle again. Yay. It's a lit candle. Going great. Going great. Going great. Well, that is the tallow candle. Weird story, but okay. Well, teach their own, I guess. Story about a candle who gets burnt alive but then is happy because it's no longer green and uh, you know what you know what you know what this is great this is <laughs> this is weird hope you guys all have a great day